What happens next? Are we going to see retaliation from the UK and then repercussions from Russia? Well, look, the first thing that happens next is that the Prime Minister is going to make a statement to Parliament this afternoon. We've been told that the statement will be uh, just after Prime Minister's question, so around 12.30 to 1 o'clock uh, UK time, and uh, we will hear more then. But I am expecting uh, the Prime Minister to be extremely clear that this uh, act, possibly not an act of war, but certainly a warlike act uh, by Russia against the British people uh, using a chemical weapon that could have easily killed hundreds and was uh, used right next to a children's playground is simply unacceptable. And the idea that we uh, can ignore it, I'm afraid, is, is simply not true. So we, I'm sure, will be asking our friends and allies, including in the United States and in Europe, uh, to stand with us. And I have myself had conversations with my opposite numbers in foreign affairs committees uh, in many allied countries and received nothing but the firmest of support from their parliaments. Uh, sir, is that right also for the U.S.? We understood that Rex Tillerson was behind the U.K., maybe showed a little bit more support to the U.K. government than his boss, Donald Trump, but Rex Tillerson has now been fired. Well, look, I don't speak to the U.S. government because I'm, I, I'm not part of the British government. I speak to the U.S. Congress and Senate, and uh, I can assure you that the uh, re representatives of the American people have been very clear. Is the timing of this all very odd? We also have the Russian elections in four days. Are you worried that things can actually escalate simply because of the timing of the elections? Uh, no, I think this is, uh, I mean, a lot of this is done uh, for uh, an internal domestic audience. Let's not forget what, uh, what's happening here. President Putin is trying to portray himself as the guardian uh, of a nation that he has successfully robbed for 20 years and uh, because of its failing economy and because he has uh, exploited the people so brutally over the last 20 years, he's left a weakened and impoverished Russia. And in order to export uh, his problems, he's uh, trying to make enemies and He's trying to portray himself as the, the defender of, of Mother Russia, and that's why he's uh, murdering people. Uh, this isn't about us. And so uh, what we've got to do now is stand firm and make sure that he is exposed for what he is, which is a thief, a liar, and a warmonger.